This is the ML2. I'd like to show you the progress I've made so far with it, uh, with the initial uh, stage release that I've got at the moment. The ML2 is intended to be a groove box, standalone groove box, using the Sunbox uh, library as its audio engine. So far, I've implemented basically the what I call the module mode, which I select using the drum button on. Echo Fire, which is serving as the hardware for the ML2. You can see here displayed all the modules that are in the preset configuration. Basically, this is what the preset for uh, the unit preset for the Sunbox is. Uh, if I select a, a module that plays sounds, you can hear playback happening can also select different uh, properties of the module, the volume, uh, the type, and so forth. We can also create a new module by going to the browser. If you watch this pad here, I'll, I can scroll through all the available modules. Let's pick, go back and pick, say, uh, the ML generator and I press down on the select button to select it. You can see now this new module was added as soon as I did that. As I showed previously, like we can modify, say, the waveform, say square, even like noise. Oops, sorry, noise. We'll go back to, say, saw. We can also page using the pad buttons page through all the different settings, all the different controllers in Sunbox terminology for that module. We can say filters, envelope, duty cycle, say even th basic things like these three match up to the, so say the attack here, the release with the sustain on off. So, here that makes a difference. Now we can also use the shift button to the in Sunbox. The whole concept of modules, if you're familiar, with, if you're not familiar with it, is to be interconnected, somewhat like a Euro rack, like a modular synthesizer, a hardware module synthesizer. Pressing the shift button shows, for instance, that this new module was directly connected to only the output. You can see it displayed both here and on the OLED, but we can just hold down this uh, module and select other modules to connect to, such as, for instance, the delay titled Echo, or for instance, the vibrato. Now you should be able to hear that it's connected to them. If we hold Shift and select it again, you can see that it's showing all the output modules it's selected to. And the first two, output and echo, are also shown on the OLED. Likewise, we can just disconnect it from them by pressing them, holding, holding it down and pressing them again. If we hold shift and hold it down, we can see it's now only connected to the output again. And finally, if we have it selected, we press alt and the select button to remove it. Now, the other mode that's been implemented is note mode. Here, the idea is that you see only the modules that essentially are instruments that can, you can play back with the chromatic keyboard that's also visible in the module screen. That may not be the case going forward. The module um, screen may not display the full chromatic keyboard. Uh, I haven't decided this yet. And, but the idea in note mode is you can just play back whichever playback module you have selected. You can see there's only those ones are there. So for instance, if we go to back to the modules, things like the uh, echo, delay, vibrato, oops, uh, compressor are not just those, mod those FX uh, modules are not displayed here in note mode. Uh, we can also 
page through the octaves for the chromatic keyboard or go down select maybe uh, bass if we go lower you can hear put the bass high yeah we don't want that so the you can use the grid up and down to move the chromatic keyboard through the different octaves uh, that's about it that's for what's available at the moment in the next uh, release I intended to intend to implement the step mode which will allow step sequencing using Sunvox's step uh, sequencer functionality. As I mentioned this is all using LibSunvox currently it's running on a laptop but the intention is to use a custom uh, Raspberry Pi module inside this enclosure to make it fully self-contained. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time for the next demo of the ML2.